Next up, we got James Skowski. Go ahead with questions whenever you're ready. Hey, uh, James, it's David Hood with TigerNet. Uh, what was it like, uh, you know, when you see that ball laying out there in front of you? Did you have any thought about just jumping on it, or, or did you think scoop and score right away? Uh, I think if you remember last year, I, uh, I botched a fumble recovery versus A&M, so I knew I had to redeem myself if I got the chance again. But, no, I literally, whenever you play a triple option and you're a linebacker, you envision that happening. So, uh, man, I had it in my head. It was going to happen. And what do you know? Murphy made a good play, and I scooped the score. So. James, it's Trevor Groves from CUTigers.com. Um, it's been four years since y'all pitched a shutout on defense. Just how proud are you of that? Yeah, uh, really proud. You know, like, like I said, I think, it was, I think it was Syracuse at home in 6 a.m. I remember like it was yesterday. And uh, I think we definitely had opportunities, you know, in the last four years to do so. And we haven't. And when you're a defensive guy, you know, that's always that's something you really want to do is get that goose egg. So it was nice. Uh, you know, I feel, and when you're playing triple option, it's hard to prepare, no matter who it is. It's hard to prepare it's to change gears like that. You know, that's a whole other language per se of football. And uh, but it was it was really nice. It's a good confidence booster for these guys, and good to see the young guys get in there and make plays too. James Joe Gorcho, WIS. Coach Venables likened you to Connor McGregor with your mentality. He talks about how passionate you are. You don't want to let anybody down. How would you describe your mindset, especially in a game like this where? Some might not approach it the right way, but you guys always seem to do no matter who you're playing on the field. Yeah, I think it's like a, that's a testament, you know, not only to, you know, our guys, but our coaching staff and how it's all, it's all about, it's not about who, it's about how, always, no matter what. And if we can do that and we can't, and we don't beat ourselves, then there's going to be a lot of teams having a hard time beating us, you know, around the, the entire country. So that's just, you know, a testament to our coaching staff, the kind of, kind of, things they've, they've taught us over the years and, you know, us, you know, drilling at home to the younger guys. It's just, you know, it's never good enough. It doesn't matter, you know, who, who you're playing. you got to play to a standard. What about that Conor McGregor comparison? That's that pretty that? cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't think I talk as much crap as uh, Conor McGregor, not publicly at least. I definitely do on the field a little bit, but uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Hey, it's it's David again. One of my buddies texted me. You talked about Miles Murphy, and he texted me and said, Miles Murphy and Brian Brissy are, are kind of like cheat codes in a game. What yeah. do you do playing behind some of these talented youngsters? Uh, man, it just – I've made this comparison before. I can remember when I was a true freshman seeing, like, Dexter and Christian. Christian was a, a sophomore. And uh, just – linebackers you don't get touched you know because there's so much worry about those two they're just they can cause so much damage and not only them two and niles and jordan and masculine and, and kj we got dudes up front we got some real dudes that will cover you up and, and, you know and, and it just helps everyone so i've been not just those two young guys but the whole d line has been playing very very well it's very competitive every week of practice and that's all you could ask for you know as a, as a player is you know a competitive group that pushes you to be better. James uh, Rob Gilchrist, WCRS, fourteen fifty AM, ninety eight point five FM. Uh, what are your goals now with two games in the books and the ACC slate up ahead after the bye week, especially with the next two games against really good teams like Virginia and Miami? I talked to Coach Finnables. He said there's a lot to look forward to, a lot to plan for. Uh, what are your goals or your plans in mind with those two games up ahead and the rest of the ACC slate for the 2020 season? Yeah, I think, you know, we just got to focus on Virginia now. Uh, and my goal really just one game at a time and just get – just continue as a team with chemistry and cohesion, just get better every day, especially next week with our bye. We got to get better. And we got to know, you know, by next Friday, next week, you know, on Saturday, that, that we've made strides as a team. And – you know, just, just keep getting better and better. Because we are so young, and we're already really good being that young. But, you know, the ceiling for this for this group is, is so high. It's so high. And I'm really excited to see how far we can go, and that's on us. I mean, that's up to us at the end of the day. And uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm just going to keep, you know, keep being a leader, keep, you know, being – being, you know, the, head, the, the, old, the old vet in the room, you know, telling guys, you know, what they, what they don't want to hear and, and uh, you know, keep it honest and, 
and that's the only way we're going to get better. Anything else, James? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Up next, we'll have Sam Simpson. He'll be with you momentarily.